We begin tonight with new developments. A recent arson at a Somali-operated coffee shop in Grand Forks has some people talking about Muslims and the Islam religion. And Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump is fueling a similar, more intense conversation nationwide. Trump says a temporary ban should be put in place to keep Muslims who are not U.S. citizens from entering our country for security reasons. An NBC poll says 57% of Americans oppose Trump's plan, 25% support it, and 18% don't know or have no opinion. This week we heard from the leader of the Islamic Center in Grand Forks who calls Islam a religion of peace. And now Valley News team's Neil Carlson also talks with an extremist Christian who's on the other side of the argument. And when a person and, you know, submits to the one and only will feel peace in, in his or her heart. Uh, so it's, it's all about peace and tranquility. While Nabil Suleiman says Islam is about peace, Usama Dakdak, who's now spoken in Grand Force three times, says Islam is about Muslims taking over the world. He has said, uh, basically, you're uh, misrepresenting Islam and misconstruing the words of the Quran. Why can't Mr. Nabil show us these verses from the Quran? He is practicing propaganda. He's practicing taqiyya, that is lying to the infidels. Because people do not know the truth about Islam by not reading the Quran and by listening to our liberals who know nothing about Islam and the Muslim who know everything about Islam but they're practicing this propaganda the Muslim will take over the world he says the solution is converting Muslims to Christianity Dak Dak says the current strategy against terrorists won't work you're saying bombing them isn't the answer I believe Satan will use Islam to bring destruction to all planet Earth as you will see it coming in the next few years this is a spiritual warfare. It will not be won except spiritually, which means bombing Muslims will not end it. Dak Dak's opinions are not shared by the leader of the Grand Forks Islamic Center, who says terrorists do not represent the religion of Islam. They are not after the welfare of, of Islam and spreading the word of peace. They are not doing that, what they are supposed to, spread the word of peace. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. Now, Osama Dakdok was raised as a Christian in Egypt. He's now an American citizen living in Florida. He runs the Straightway Ministry. Its stated purpose is to convert Muslims to the Christian faith.